Hi, Richard Yost for Birdhouse Spy Cam. I think the number one question I'm often asked is, do you have a wireless camera? And yes, we do. But a more important question is, do you need one? Our wireless Hawkeye system comes with the camera, complete with internal transmitter, infrared night vision, a built-in microphone, and a variable focus lens. It's powered by a 9-volt power adapter. At the television, you receive uh, the receiver, which uh, is complete with an antenna and fine-tuning knob, and as well as ports uh, where, from which you run the um, audio-video cable uh, into your television. It, too, is powered by a 9-volt power adapter. But wait a minute, you say, I thought this was a, a wireless camera. Uh, then that's a, a common misconception. Uh, wireless refers to the transmission of the audio and video signals. Remember, you must get electricity out to the camera, which in the end means running some type of power cable to it. The Hawkeye Wireless is your choice of nature cams only if you absolutely can't get a cable from the camera into the television and if you have electrical power near the camera. A school is a good example of a place uh, best suited for the Hawkeye Wireless. On the one side we have classrooms and then on the other is the nature area where the birdhouses might be set up but in between are sidewalks and playgrounds that make running a wire into the classroom impossible. Let's take a look at, uh, at a scenario here where the teacher has set up a nice birdhouse. In this case it looks about the size for a cormorant. You can see that it would be impossible to run a cable across the sidewalk and into the classroom unless you were looking to have a, a nice lawsuit. Quite often uh, at round schools there are, are outbuildings where the uh, with electrical outlets since this teacher didn't put her birdhouse close to one of them, let's go ahead and build her a, a wood, uh, woodworking shed or tool shed here and that has a nice outlet on the outside. So now the cable could be run up to the birdhouse. It could be buried here along in the grass. Now the camera will transmit the audio and video signals across the sidewalk and playground into the classroom television. Here are a couple of tips for using your Hawkeye Wireless. The 100 feet of cable that comes with the system can be used in two ways, uh, either to run electrical power to the camera or to connect the, the receiver to your, to your television. Uh, the quality of the camera's audio and video signal is directly impacted by how close the camera is to the receiver. Now the, the system does come with a six foot long uh, AV cable, so that's not too hard to uh, connect it to the to the television. But obviously, the reception is going to be better if the receiver is only 20 feet away from the camera versus uh, 100 feet. So, how to do this? Simply plug in one end of the 100 foot extension cable into the TV, the other into the receiver, and then string this wire out, uh, carrying the receiver out towards the camera as close as possible. Uh, the, the only limiting thing would be uh, that you've, the receiver is going to have to be close enough so that you can plug in the uh, power adapter. As I said earlier, although this is a wireless system, you still must get electricity to the camera. By far the easiest and most importantly safest way to do this is to use the 100 feet of low voltage cable that comes with the system. Notice here how only the red electrical power leads are plugged in, both at the uh, power adapter inside as well as outside at the camera. The uh, audio and video leads or plugs at each end of the cable are, are left unplugged. As this is a low voltage 9 volt system, there is no danger if the cable is cut by a wayward weed whacker or lawnmower. This cannot be said if a 100 10 volt extension cord is run out from the uh, house to the camera. Extra 100 uh, foot cables are available for purchase if you need to both extend the camera receiver and to power up the camera. 
And finally, bear in mind that a hardwired camera will pretty much always provide superior audio and video versus a wireless system. If you find that you can, after all, get the cable into your television uh, from the camera, by all means do so by simply connecting all the leads, the power, the audio, and the video from the low voltage system on into your television.